Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today, I wanted to touch on um, some relationships on the Waltons. So I'm going to be taking a look at a little bit of Mary Ellen and Grandma and Grandma and Zeb. If you're enjoying these, please do hit like and subscribe. Mary Ellen and Grandma, of course, were first established, played by both me and Ellen Corby, right from the homecoming. Although there wasn't particularly a relationship that was established right away in the homecoming, uh, Mary Ellen didn't interact much with Grandma other than in a general sense. Uh, so we didn't really start that dynamic until the series started. Once the series started, then there was a, a wonderful dynamic between the two of them. Uh, sometimes they were on the same page, but many times Mary Ellen and Grandma just butted heads. I think in some cases, because they were so much alike, they were both stubborn and strong-willed and all of those sorts of things and uh, less inclined to back down <laughs> and admit they were wrong. So I think that that, uh, that that caused some of the friction between them. And uh, some of the episodes that really stand out for me between the two are in season two, The Awakening, uh, when Mary Ellen first uh, finds herself smitten by this college, this young college man that she meets at Trusilla's Pond and lies about her age, and then he's going to come by to see her. And of course, Mary Ellen then finds out that Grandma has told the young man that Mary Ellen is only about 14 or 15 or something, and clearly way too young, and sends him away. And Mary Ellen is very angry with Grandma, and also personally crushed by um, being seen to be just a young girl as opposed to being taken seriously as a young woman, which she was certainly beginning to feel that she was. The quilting was one of the next times that I really remember Mary Ellen and Grandma just completely locking horns because Mary Ellen was so opposed to the idea of having this quilting party that sort of announced that she was now indeed a young woman and ready to be courted, uh, which was sort of an old tradition that perhaps was from Grandma's era. Uh, and Mary Ellen was at that point convinced that she was going to change the world in some way that women hadn't had the opportunity before, whether it was, um, you know, becoming a nurse or a doctor or perhaps going and being an explorer or an adventurer or, you know, learning to fly airplanes like Amelia Earhart or becoming a dancer like Is Isadora Duncan, any of those things, or an actress like El Elvira Drummond when she came through. Mary Ellen was just resisting that traditional role of women's in that era. So um, they really, really locked horns then. But ultimately, by the end of the episode, they had found their way back to finding, uh, calling a truce. And I think Mary Ellen did have to swallow her pride a bit and um, acknowledge what grandma was trying to do and that, that it wasn't meant to embarrass Mary Ellen. So uh, it finally, they resolved their differences. Starting to show a degree of Mary Ellen's uh, maturity in the vigil when she accidentally misdiagnoses grandma and grandma ends up very ill with appendicitis and in the hospital of course mary ellen is devastated by what she has done and that it has so endangered grandma's health and i can't believe that grandma would actually forgive her and blame herself for as she says asking too much expecting too much of mary ellen rather than um than just going and, and, and asking a doctor. So uh, that scene I thought was an absolutely beautiful scene between Grandma and Mary Ellen. And ultimately in the wedding when um, Grandma and uh, Grandpa decide that they really want to give something to Mary Ellen for her wedding. Um, so this was sort of the, the recognition that Mary Ellen now had come from full circle and was a young woman 
and an adult in her own right. And so they were standing behind her choices to go forward. Grandma's relationship with Grandpa was no less tempestuous <laughs> and over the seasons. We saw some just wonderful examples of that relationship. Uh, Grandma really believed in family and, and supporting the family and that a woman's role was meant to be in the home, caring for the children and, and her husband. Um, so it was perhaps a different era that Grandma grew up in and that Mary Ellen was beginning to fight that traditional role. But for Grandma, that was what was expected and she was used to that and comfortable with that. Even though she didn't always agree with Grandpa, she was not one to back down and not and just abide by his wishes or not challenge him when she felt it was needed. Um, and it was really hard for her to admit she was wrong, just like it was for Mary Ellen. In the episode, The Separation, she and Grandpa are both being completely pig-headed and neither one will admit their that they're at fault or that they might be wrong. And so this silly misunderstanding blows completely out of proportion and uh, drives a wedge between them that it takes some work to resolve. Often Esther had her feelings hurt by, by Zeb, uh, as in the, um, the statue, when she's jealous of um, Grandpa and this, this statue that he's holding up as this this sort of ideal of, of a woman that he loves. And, and I think grandma was jealous and her feelings were hurt. And, and it took a bit for that to sort itself out. Uh, but then you had absolutely wonderful moments like in the episode, um, the house, not only did they have this huge fight about um, being on different sides of the tearing down of this house, but how, how could grandpa not remember this window and what it meant and what this house meant to Esther and uh, how it represented the beginning of their relationship. And of course, by the end of it, they had this incredibly touching scene with the window, with Grandpa having brought the window and installed it in their bedroom and saying he absolutely remembered what the window meant and what it meant for their relationship. Jealousy often played a part in the relationship between Esther and Zeb uh, because Zeb was always flirting with women and it didn't mean anything. And he felt that Esther should understand that, that he loved Esther and she should never question that. But she was in, inclined to jealousy in, in the burnout when they were staying um, at the boarding house and and Grandpa was shamelessly flirting with, you know, the other woman at the boarding house. And and Esther was just not having that. Um, you know, she could feel betrayed by things like that. Then she also experienced having been embarrassed uh, in the bequest when she thought that she was going to have this inheritance that was going to allow her to do things for the family and, and help John Boy get started at college and get the new water heater for the house. And she suddenly felt like she really could contribute to the family. And then of course it all turned out that it didn't exist and she was really mortified. And I think that Mary Ellen experienced a similar thing when she had to call off her wedding to David Spencer and then just didn't want anybody you know, she, she didn't know how to deal with it herself. And so she shut herself off and grandma did a similar thing. So those were times when I really was aware of those two characters being very similar. But fighting stubbornly for someone, your family and someone you love, Esther would absolutely um, go toe to toe with anyone over protecting the family, particularly protecting Zeb. In the birthday when he was ready to give up all hope and she was beside herself, ultimately she knew that she knew Zeb better than anybody else. So despite the doctor saying he shouldn't be moved, she was the one who insisted that he be moved outside where he could see the mountain, where he could be reminded of everything that mattered to him with the land and the mountain, and it ultimately did revive him. So she did, she did know her husband. Um, one of my favorite scenes between the two of them was in the heritage when they were up on the mountain and they were talking about the possibility that John, if he needed to, would sell the mountain. 
Um, and they had that beautiful scene. It's probably one of my favorite scenes between them uh, where they talked about when they were young and first dating and uh, just uh, such a beautiful example of their relationship and seeing, getting a glimpse into who they were as a young couple. In the episode, The Fox, Grandpa, after all his years of bragging about being with the Rough Riders and how he charged San Juan Hill with Teddy Roosevelt and then he comes face to face with this, the reality, the truth of this lie he's told for years when it looks like it's going to be exposed. And he is also embarrassed. Uh, and he admits to John Boy that that wasn't the way it went, that he really just tended to the mules and he wasn't important at all. But in the end, we find out that he actually played a very important part that day and saved his friend's life. And Grandma sees this other side of um, the vulnerability of Zeb, and I think it it makes her love him even more. She she recognizes that he tells tall tales, but she also recognizes that he is indeed a good man. The ultimate culmination of the relationship between Grandma and Grandpa was in Grandma Comes Home after missing her terribly, sitting outside her hospital room so he can say goodnight to her, trying to sneak into the hospital, all those things. Ultimately, when she comes home and all he wants to do is coddle her, take care of her, never have her do anything, but just, he just doesn't ever want to lose her again. And of course, she's fighting that because she wants to feel needed. And then he betrays her trust and admits it by reading her diary and then recognizing that she does need to feel needed. And so the final beautiful scene where he hands her the broom and tells her to get to work and earn her keep, we see who grandma is and who he knows her to be this strong, stubborn, fierce woman that he married when she smacks him with that broom and calls him an old fool. And he knows that grandma is indeed back. I hope you've enjoyed this segment about some of the relationships on the Waltons, the one between Grandma and Mary Ellen, and then between Grandma and Grandpa. I will be back with more behind the scenes of the Waltons and more Ask Judy. Thanks for watching.